Hey guys, it's Kira and Jenna, and today we're going to talk about um, putting up your wall art and Yay. things to think about. So yes, okay. So as you know, we are big proponents on putting up pictures um, in your house, and um, so much to the fact that that's mainly what we sell. And um, so today we're going to talk about how to get it up on your walls and yes. things to think about when you do that. So. Yes. So, do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? Um, sure, I'll start. <laughs> uh, we hang a lot of wall art, obviously. We hang client wall art, and we hang our own. Um, and we've found that probably the easiest way, especially if you're hanging a lot of pieces, is to do like a uh, wrapping paper or a newspaper cutout of each piece and lay it out and kind of see what it looks like. And you know, you can tape those up on the wall, live with it, see what you think. Um, and then those come in handy too when it comes time to actually hang because you can mark the spots on those where the nail actually needs to go and, you know, only put one hole in your wall. Yes. Um, as you guys know, I just moved into a new house and currently like four of my walls have mm -hmm. newspaper cutouts on them because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. So yeah, it's, it's very helpful, um, to try to figure out what you want to do. So when you're doing that um, for groupings, um, I always find that it's good to have a focal point for that grouping, mm -hmm. um, just so that it's not like a whole bunch of like eight by tens, unless that's what you're going for. Because there is a grouping of like 10, 11 by 14s, or is it 10? No, nine. Nine oh. 11 by 14s. That's a really in grouping yeah. right now or like nine squares or yeah. something nine yeah. squares um i'm doing that on one of my huge walls um because it's like kind of like a grid but not really mm -hmm. um so if that's the mono like monochromatic not monochromatic but you know like plain simple classic. plain and simple um, if that's the, what you're going for that's cool but most of the time there will be a focal point um in the middle well and with that you probably end up with the photo in the center feeling like a center or a focal point. So yes. you know, maybe if it's family picture group and you're hanging, maybe that one is the whole family. Yes. So. Yeah. So focal point. Um, we also like to mix and match, whether it's like mix and match art and photos or mix and match frame colors or mm -hmm. texture and you know. So um, that's very hard for me. I don't know if it's hard for you. It's sometimes is, sometimes isn't, but you know, we have one in, in here that has different frames. Yes. And you just have to think about it. I don't think most people consider the idea that you could do different frames in a grouping or, uh, you know, and if this isn't just necessarily from us even, but even yourself, you know, just picking frames that have similar tones or tones that work well together, black and gold, or like we have ours is kind of a champagne color with a kind of creamy champagne color. Mm -hmm. And it just looks really pretty. One of them's more simple and modern and the other's a little bit more ornate and they just work nicely together and, you know, feel really cohesive. Yeah. I, I, I love it. Um, I love the ones that we have that are mixed and match, but I still like to the core, I'm a, a clean and classic, like everything has <laughs> to be the same. So, um, I struggle with it, but yes, I do love the ones that we have in here, um, that are mixed and match. So, uh, yeah. Um, also, mind the proportions. Like, yes. you want to. Jenna's very good at this because she's always like, it has to be a certain. Well, and I mean, so there's a couple of different places where proportion matters. One of them is the height you hang your pictures, but the other thing to consider is the size of your pictures because if you're working with a big wall, kind of like the wall behind us, and you have one eight by ten <laughs> hanging on that wall, that's just gonna look strange and you know, not proportional. So, you know, make sure when you're looking at your wall that you're actually measuring things out because maybe two and eight by 10 sounds big, but when you actually go to hang it on the wall, it's not big. Uh, maybe you want more like a 30 by 40 or a 20 by 30 and you just have no idea. Um, and then when it comes to actually hanging them, uh, there's something called gallery height and that's 57 inches from the floor plus half the height of your uh, piece of art. Um, and that's just like the place that the eye is most comfortable in looking at something. And so it doesn't always apply, but if you have just a big blank wall and you're just hanging one piece on that wall, you're probably going to hang it at gallery height. Now, if it's over your fireplace, probably not going to be able to hang it at gallery height. So it just depends on the situation. And you just want to consider all of these things before actually putting holes in your wall. Definitely. Yeah. And proportion is a huge thing for us because most of the time, 
people don't understand proportions for like for prints because they come in and they they think oh eight by ten is is huge so that's why we have when we want you to come into the viewing room and see what we have up on the wall because when you see it on a wall you're like oh that's really what mm -hmm. I want and when I tell you the size it won't register because I mean sizes don't really matter to yeah, and we have 8 by 10s hanging in here too. It's a grouping, so it does feel a little bit bigger, but then you can kind of see like, wow, if I put a framed 8 by 10 on my wall, whoo, yeah, it's funny, tiny. that's tiny. <laughs> it's tiny. So um, that's why we really want you to come in and see these huge pictures. I mean, I don't think they're huge anymore because they're, they're, they've been on my walls forever. And now, like when I'm buying art or um, things for my house, I think I'm like 40 by 60 that's nothing and people are like wow that's huge I'm like no it's not because my walls are like two stories high so I actually need like three of those mm -hmm. or something like that to, to fill the space so proportion yeah. is well and the other thing to consider the opposite of that is if you have like a small um, like a powder bath yeah obviously you're not going to want something that big that might be the place where you want the 8 by 10 and maybe you want to do a grouping of 8 by 10s because it fits in the space but they're smaller proportion and they fit in the smaller proportion space. Yep. So there's a place for every size, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then um, kind of with that is um, people don't always think about this, but when you come in, you'll see all kinds of different things like framing or canvases or framed canvases or acrylics and all of these different mediums that um, we have. So it's really, really good to come and see and touch mm -hmm. and feel all of these different things because they're gorgeous. Yeah. And when you come in, you'll be like, ooh, I don't even know what that is, but I love it. Yeah. Um, so, and it, it does add um, a sense of luxury to your print because the prints are gorgeous. I mean, mm -hmm. our images are gorgeous. And then you add like a mat um, and we have different, like we have a section that will have like the same picture in canvas, acrylic, framed canvas and um, framed mm -hmm. print. And it, the picture looks totally different. So it's a really neat. Well, and I think different applications apply to different homes. You know, acrylics sometimes feel a little more modern. So if you lean modern, you're probably not going to want a canvas, which feels a little more traditional. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. that way you can come in and see, well, that looks like my house. Yes. And it's hard to tell that from a photo. Yep. And it's hard to tell because I, I know, I know people don't like to come in, but it's hard to tell these things by Zoom. Mm -hmm. And I, I get the convenience of Zoom, but it's really hard to tell what you need by a Zoom call. So yeah. um, just yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, um, just FYI, we do um, hang things for clients. Yes. That's part of our thing. Because so, I know I've gone back to families <laughs> years later and the frame print still laying on the whatever. Um, that's part of our service that we give so um it's just yeah there's no added fee for that it, it's just comes with the wall art yeah because we think it's really important um you spend a lot of money and um, buying these beautiful framed prints or framed canvases um just take advantage of it because yep. it's i know it's hard um i we just moved in and i just made jenna hang up a bunch of stuff um it's hard. It's hard to measure it all and make sure it looks gorgeous. So take advantage of the service we give you. So, yeah. um, what else? Um, did we talk about? Oh, I know something. So FYI, um, this is a really beat up canvas, <laughs> but um, the backs of our things, frame canvases, canvas, all of that stuff, are finished. So they have black paper. They have bumpers which this one does not that one's the one that travels with Kara to people's yes. houses as you, so it's tell, <laughs> as you can tell it's got a lot of issues um can you hand me the one right there because it does have bumpers on it this is a framed print yeah so you can see the back of it it has um the sawtooth it has the little bumpers i call these bump that's what they're called um little um plastic bumpers. rubber bumpers yeah rubber bumpers so when it hits your wall it's not going to scuff up your wall and then it's got the black paper to finish it off. Um, I know a lot of families get perturbed that I finish off the framed prints um, because they can't switch out the picture year after year. 
Um, but I find that it is a much more finished look. Yeah. So, um, and this framed print actually has a matte and this specific frame has kind of a double frame look. Um, but some of our, I think we have like over 50 frames. Yeah, we have a lot of frames. Yeah. And, and if you come in, you can see them all, touch them all, hold them up to different matte corners. There is a whole process we have. So when you say, oh, we want a frame, we get out all the frames and then you say, okay, well, we want a matte. No, we don't want a matte. We want um, acrylic on the front. No, we don't want acrylic. There's all kinds of questions I ask you. So, um, yeah, there's, it's a big process, but um, they turn out gorgeous at the end. Um, yeah, and we might mention, um, we put acrylic in our framed prints so that if they fall off the wall, you're not dealing with broken glass. And it's no glare acrylic, or it's supposed to be less glare. So hopefully when you hang it on your wall, it's a bright sunny day, you can still see your beautiful artwork. Yeah. It just has acrylic. Yeah. Yeah, so we find that um, our wall art is like ready to hang, you do nothing. Once you pick out the picture, you're done. Yep. Uh, so this is a framed print. This is a canvas. Um, we're about to launch our framed canvases. They are gorgeous. Very exciting. Um, we also have acrylics, which are not here. Um, they're somewhere else. And... I think that's all. Um, but yeah, so that's all of our wall art. And obviously we sell them singly and then we sell them as groupings as well. Um, so yeah, that's us in a nutshell hanging art. Um, and, and that goes for art, art, and I mean, you can, it's, because my house is a combination of art, art, and frames, like print prints. Yes. But, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah. yeah, so if you have any questions about any of that, uh, drop it in the comments and we'll either answer there or get back with you in more detail. Okay, well thanks for stopping by, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye-bye!